Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today I want to show you a slime block flying machine that I built. Uh, now this is like any other slime block flying machine, you can see it's not touching the ground. So this could be way up in the air. And uh, But the difference between this one and a normal slime block flying machine is that it can be controlled to go either direction. So here we have it going the other direction. And it's basically just in order to ch swap directions you Pick up, a uh, pick up a redstone block from one place and put it in another, and that's all you have to do is switch directions. Now, uh, I'm sure other people have built slime block flying machines that, that code go two directions. I've seen some other ones. I'm not really sure what the state of the art is. It's possible somebody's already done something like this that's much more compact, but I basically wanted to give it a shot, uh, see what I could do without looking at anyone else's designs. So, um, this does work in survival. If I hop in right here, go to game mode zero. Uh, if I put a redstone block over here, I'll be pushed along. You can see I'm traveling along in this direction. Everything is great. Uh, sometimes pistons pushing players glitches out, and that's a kind of a problem with any slime block flying machine contraption. So if I if I want to stop it and go the other direction, what I need to do is break this redstone block and walk on over here on top of these really slow slime blocks. There we go, hop in right here. Now in order to get it started the other direction, I'll just um, place it up against this red block over here. And now we're flying the other direction. And so we can fly through the air, go one way, go back. Uh, this is nice because then you don't, <laughs> you aren't taking a one way trip off, you know, off west or whatever. Uh, you can take your flying machine one direction, go AFK if you want, come back and, uh, and, and you'll be able to to turn the flying machine around. And I can stop it from this direction too. So there we go. Um, now I have tile drops turned off, but the redstone block would actually drop here so I could pick it up. Uh, over here, it probably would fall to the ground. Uh, let's take a look at how it works. There is one basic unit, and you'll see it repeated over and over again, where you see these two pistons kind of diagonal from each other and then some redstone blocks next to them. So there's six of those cells. You can see one, two, three, four, five, Wait, is there seven? <laughs> okay, never mind, there's seven. <laughs> well, this one kind of is a little bit different. Uh, but here's the basic unit. So this is this is the basic unit. Uh, if I go ahead and plop down a piston over here, it's gonna push the unit, um, but after it's pushed the unit, it, it looks exactly the same as it did before, it's just moved over at one. So if I do the same thing over here, uh, let me just put down another piston, it's gonna push this unit, and then this unit is connected via slime blocks to an identical unit. You can see it's the same thing. And that's the basis of the machine. It's basically got seven of those in a cycle so that by pushing on one, you, well, let's, let's take a look. By pushing on one, you form a chain reaction where you push on this piston and it pushes this piston forward, which is gonna push these slime blocks, which is gonna push this piston forward, which is gonna push these slime blocks, push this piston forward, etc. And it comes around and um, this one is the one that's different, and the slime block is basically what causes it to chain react, or sorry, the, the redstone block here is what causes it to chain react in one direction but not the other. And yeah, so I mean, that's basically how it works. It's actually relatively straightforward. Um, from this direction too. And here, I think it looks kind of neat in the little ring shape here, elong elongated ring shape, kind of cool. Again, I don't really know if this is that novel or anything, but I certainly had fun trying to build it it was an interesting challenge, so hopefully some, some of you guys find it useful. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.